Hi, my name is Gabrielle Zanto, and I'll be doing my reflection vlog today. The first question question is, is how do you think you have advanced as a public speaker, speaker during this semester? I believe I've advanced quite a bit since high school. Um, I learned nonverbal signposts, verbal signposts, and internal reviews this semester, and that has really helped me out a lot. During high school, I never really knew how to organize my speech, and whenever I say first, second, and third, it helps me understand where I'm at in my speech, and it also lets my audience know where I'm at in my speech so they don't just think, oh, when is she ever going to end? Because if I'm on my third main point, that they should know I'm about almost down to, my, down to the bottom of my speech. The most important concept or theory that I've learned throughout this class is in chapter 14, page 105. It's the types of credibility. I really enjoyed learning about initial credibility. Initial credibility is what you have when you walk into the room. It's before you even speak that your audience already knows your credibility. Drive credibility is what you get while presenting your speech. And terminal credibility is what you get at the conclusion of your speech. It's both initial and derived is put together. Next, I'm going to recommend to you as a, our instructor that you should get rid of all the extra tabs on the content page. I would just have week one, week two, week three, and have everything under there, what we need. It's kind of hard. It was kind of hard in the beginning of the speech whenever we started because I was clicking on all these pages and I didn't know what they were for. But eventually I figured it out towards the end of the class. Next, the purpose of my ceremonial speech was to inform my audience about how great Carrie Underwood is. Um, my technology was out, was perfectly fine. I had a tripod, it didn't wiggle. The video quality was very clear and you could hear me just fine and you couldn't, there was no background noise while presenting my speech. The one thing I think I could do better is be a little bit more prepared. I was a little nervous for the speech, but I usually am. I'm not sure why I get so nervous during speeches. In terms of organization and structure, I would like to make sure double and triple check that I have two evidences for each main point that I have. Um, I know I only had one evidence point for my third main point of Carrie Underwood as an animal lover, but I figured it'd be okay because I still made the points. All together, I really enjoyed the semester of speech class and thanks for watching.